Hey everyone, welcome to iHeart 3D Printing. There's a lot of talk about drying filament and using uh, filament dryers. I don't think you need to do all that. And I'm gonna show you in a two minute video how I dry out my filament and I can prove that it works. Stay tuned. Here's a bag with uh, a filament, nylon filament, and it's very waterlogged. And how I know that, because I make my own little silica bags and this is color change silica. See that it's pretty waterlogged. Basically, I take a piece of paper towel and then I hot glue it to a piece of a uh, sandwich bag. And this is literally um, straight sandwich bag material. And the final, I have one opening to put it in, put the silica inside here, and then I close it back up. So that's very dry, and this is pretty wet. So I'm gonna show you how we're gonna dry both this filament and we're gonna dry that. We're not gonna do any printing, just trust me, it makes a difference, especially on nylon. PLA, hit or miss. Uh, a lot of times PLA prints fine no matter what I do. On a, a real rainy day, PLA can get wet, but it even dries on its own anyways. After I made that video last night, um, I got sleepy and I left the bag open. So uh, the silica, the brand new silica got dried. Um, or got wet I should say and um, so just don't leave your bag open overnight I got my nylon right here and I still got this that I left out overnight and here's all we're gonna do and finally the magic box here this box is magic and not because it keeps your kids pee pee from uh, getting all over the place. It's magic. And we're gonna check this out in a little bit and see what's going on. All right, everyone, it's been 24 hours and I'm gonna lift up the box, the magic box, and reveal the surprise. Wow, look how blue that is. Now, it's not a surprise to me actually because I knew this was gonna happen. Um, if, if you check this out, in six hours, the filament's usually good enough to print with, but if you really want it dry, you really should leave it all out um, overnight, and you really get this blue color, and your filament's gonna be perfect. Now, for all the naysayers out there that might say something like um, that it's this wouldn't work in a, a moist area, I wanna show you outside today's a special day. Well, my gimbal catch up but you can see it's a wet, soggy day, and inside my garage is a whopping 59 degrees Fahrenheit. Don't know what that is in Celsius, so let's go back to this. So, I pretty much showed you guys how to make, or what, what I do to dry my filament. It's pretty easy, self-explanatory. I do wanna make a video, but uh, how I make these, but it really, a lot of content on YouTube's filler, um, and I just don't have time. So hopefully this helps you guys out. Oh, the magic box. What makes this box magic? Well, there's aluminum foil on the inside. Cheap, easy to make. Um, I used hot glue on the edges so it doesn't lift up. And that's how I've been drying my filament. I use for the nylon, uh, whopping. 70 degrees Celsius and when you have the box on there the power supply really doesn't struggle the underneath I just put aluminum little widgets in there to act as radiators to help wick the heat out of the bed and you've seen these in my cut in aluminum video so there you go guys